Hi, my name is Michael Roth, and this is Life of Worship, where we're going beyond the music and beyond the words and really connecting with the heart of the Lord and saying, God, how can I serve you? How can I worship you with all of my life? And so I've been going over the last couple of weeks, I've been going over um, just kind of Eden. And when Jesus died on the cross, he brought us back to Eden. Um, he brought us back to that intimacy, to that closeness with God. And I'm just kind of diving into the different things that are ours now because of what Jesus did. And so one of those things is work. Uh, let me blow your mind just for a moment here if I can. In God's original plan, work is enjoyable. Just let that sink in for a second. Work is enjoyable. Okay, if you look at Genesis 2.15, this is before the fall. The Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to work it and to keep it. And so this is God living in perfect harmony with man. And he is um, giving the man work to do. And the man is not sitting there complaining about it. He's not saying, oh God, you're a terrible boss. But there is actually, there's a harmony that's going on here where they're doing their work together and it is an enjoyable thing. And so my challenge is really that we embrace the attitude of a good work ethic. So that means honoring your boss, even if they are terrible, honoring your boss. Or if you are the boss, thanking your staff for a job well done and treating them fairly uh, as you'd want to be treated. And for all of us, it is really just to be thankful for our job and to not complain. So for me, work is not always and it hasn't always been enjoyable. And when I first got out of high school and I started working, I actually kind of embraced kind of this bad attitude. And I realized that that bad attitude was not honoring to God. Um, but since then, I, I the Lord kind of like told me, all right, you need to change your attitude. And since the Lord has helped me to change my attitude, I have embraced being thankful and working hard to do my best for the Lord. My attitude has changed and I've actually found enjoyment in my work. Um, and the thing is, is if you work in a toxic environment and you don't feel like the Lord is bringing you out of that toxic environment, um, ask the Lord for strength and a change of heart. And and ask him to help you to choose a good attitude. Be thankful, encouraging, and ask the Lord how you can be a light. And you will be the reason the atmosphere changes. I guarantee that. Even if it's on that small level and it's just the area that you're working in, the atmosphere will start to change if you, if you choose just to be thankful and thanking God for the job that you have. Um, it will change the atmosphere and it will bring glory to God. And so don't try to change the people you are working with, but let Christ change you and shine through you, and then you will be the influencer in your work area. And kids and young adults and or anyone else who is in school, this applies to you too. Embrace a good attitude and work ethic at school. This doesn't mean you can't have fun, all right? I, I think that that's the thing. Is like we think if we have to work, then we can't have fun. But I think as you're enjoying your work, um, the truth of the matter is, is we all um, are very satisfied with a job well done. And it really helps us to live our life to the fullness because when we're living our lives to glorify God, his blessings just pour into us. So whatever you do, do it with all of your heart and do it for the glory of God. Don't do it for this person or that person. and Don't even do it for yourself. Do it for the glory of God. This is our life of worship, glorifying our King Jesus. Jesus opened the door to Eden, but we still live in a fallen world. So these are things that we have to fight for. These are things that we have to grow into. And so my prayer is that we are able to fight for them together and grow into them together. So God bless, and I just thank you for your time.